Hey guys, um, today I'm going to uh, show you how to resolve an issue for the Google Nexus player, the streaming player uh, running Android TV operating system made by, well, made by ASUS uh, probably, but uh, it's made for, for Google. Uh, now, I've been using it for a few months and uh, the uh, one thing I, I found that's uh, a problem with this player is that the remote control, as you can see in the remote here, uh, is problematic sometimes. Uh, sometimes it loses connection. So uh, the result is when you try to uh, press, for example, the, the, the down button, it should go up and down on the screen. Right? If it doesn't respond at all, and, or it, the, the blinker, the, the, you can see, let me see here. So on the top, there's, uh, if there's a light that's keep blinking, keep flashing the LED light, and uh, it's not doing anything, when you press anything on the, on the buttons, it's not doing anything on the screen, that means uh, it's, it's not connected to the player itself. The remote is lost its, it's a connection. It's actually quite a common uh, problem with the Nexus player. So I'm going to tell you how to resolve it. So basically, they designed the remote control to be a, a Bluetooth device. For, for whatever reason, it's, it's not like a radio con uh, frequency or something. This is a Bluetooth device. So when the light is quickly flashing on the, on the top, or it's not responding to your commands at all, um, you just have to reconnect the Bluetooth uh, connection. That's all. So to resolve this issue, first of all, you go to your Google Nexus player here. Let me show you. So the player on the bottom, there is a round button at the very center of the bottom. Just press that. That's the Bluetooth connection button. And press that, and then the screen will show you it's trying to connect to, to a Bluetooth device. Then all you have to do is press the back button and the home button. This is the round one and the arrow, basically, these two buttons at the same time for uh, more than five seconds. So just keep pressing them until the screen shows connecting to Bluetooth device. And then your remote will be reconnected and it will be working. It's as simple as that, but it happens from time to time. Uh, I guess it's kind of a design flaw for the, for the player. So just follow these instructions and you'll be fine.